BMW i4. The production-ready four-door, which is now available for pre-sale as a single-motor E-Drive 40 and a dual-motor M50, retains the polarizing appearance of its concept predecessor. The 2022 BMW i4 is based on an experimented and proven BMW modular cluster architecture, utilized as early as 2015 rather than on a specific EV platform. Although it still has an iDrive powertrain that houses one compartment, the engine and electronics in-house recently manufactured by the company. The EV's 81 kilowatt hour battery uses less rare earth elements and can drive for up to 300 kilometers. The i4 has 544 horsepower and accelerates from 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds in its unpatched form. The rear wheel drive sedan, on the other hand, has 340 horsepower and a 5.7 second acceleration time. BMW also intends to release a lower cost i4 with 270 horsepower, a smaller battery, and a cheaper price tag in 2022. Mustang Mach-E We believe that the company's board had a mission to step up its game with this one because the 2021 Mustang Mach-E is unlike everything else that has ever been seen. It completely transformed the Mustang nameplate into an electric dream. Although it doesn't seem as vintage and scary as a classic Mustang muscle car does, the Model E undoubtedly lives up to the brand's name. It features a performance upgrade that allows it to go 60 miles per hour, faster than a Porsche 911 GTS. This makes it an excellent choice for buyers who intend to go on a long distance journey, as on a single charge, the extended range battery and rear wheel drive vehicle will be able to travel 300 kilometers. Like the Tesla Model Y compact crossover, the Mach-E does not necessarily have the look of a classic muscle car. It does, however, provide some of the distinctive design traits of one, such as the long hood, three-part tail lamps, high haunches, and an unmistakable pony logo on the front, even though it leads to the SUV side. And prices will begin at $43,895. BMW iX BMW plans to feature two different variants of the iX. The first is the X-Drive 50, powered by a pair of electric motors that combine to make 516 horsepower, and for this model, all-wheel drive is standard. The brand suggests enough power to race the iX to a top speed of 124 miles per hour, 60 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds. The iX has a massive 106.3 kilowatt hour battery pack that BMW claims will provide about 300 miles of driving range per charge. DC fast charging will be standard. It will take the iX under 35 minutes to recharge from 10% to 80% when connected to a 200 kilowatt outlet. BMW has stepped upwards with EVGO to create a network of public charging stations for iX drivers. The interior design of the iX is futuristic yet simple, with a slew of high-tech elements like the hexagonal shaped steering wheel and a huge curved touchscreen instrument panel. As an option, BMW will provide a huge panoramic sunroof with electrochromic shade, a clever feature present on only a few automobiles. The software enables menu and graphic customization, as well as a voice-activated assistant. The iX's tech-forward dashboard design comprises a dubbed iDrive 8, a big 14.9-inch infotainment display, the iX SUV and i4 sedan, and a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster. This beauty will be priced at $84,900 and above. Mercedes-Benz EQE the EQE, a lower-level sedan akin to the C-Class small executive vehicle, is on sale in 2022. The EQE, with a range of over 600 kilometers, will be the second model based on the MEA electric car platform. That's 373 miles. It should speed up from 0 to 100 miles per hour in 4 to 4.5 seconds, thanks to 400 horsepower and 700 to 750 newton meters of torque. In October 2020, both a sedan and an SUV variant were officially announced, with the sedan debuting initially in 2022. The newest version of the Mercedes's MBUX infotainment system will almost definitely be used in the EQE. It might be similar to the configuration featured on the current E-Class, which has a 12.3-inch touchscreen that can be operated via different controls. These include a touchpad in the center console, intuitive switches on the steering wheel, and voice-activated instructions that, in our opinion, are more irritating than beneficial. Tesla Model X What is new for the 2021 Model X? 
The Model X is half crossover, half MPV, but all Tesla electric cars. Famous for its cleverly hinged gull-wing rear doors that open even in the tightest of car park spaces, the interior is roomy for five in the first two rows, and the rearmost third row pair of seats are fine for kids on short journeys. Though the revised Long Range Plus model adds a few more miles of range compared to the previous Long Range version. The Model X is still available in two basic configurations that differ in performance and electric range. Both come with Tesla's Autopilot Driver Assistance System and offer a more robust version as an option. Nevertheless, until other three-row EVs hit the market, there is nothing that offers the same combination of space, utility, and gasoline-free driving as Tesla's Model X. The best thing about the new Tesla Model X update can be the Plaid Performance option. Tesla Model Y Nearly a year after the first unit left Fremont, the seventh-seater variant of the Y arrived. It has an independent fault flat second row and a minimalistic third row with no isofix points for the car seats for two passengers. This Tesla is available in two models, long range and performance, both of which are driven by a dual-motor all-wheel drive system. The former has a range of 326 miles on a single charge, has a maximum speed of 135 miles per hour, and accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 4.8 seconds. The performance variant reaches 303 miles while increasing the top speed to 155 miles per hour and the acceleration time to 3.5 seconds. Furthermore, customers may request the standard range 244 mile Model Y as an off-menu option. Vegan leather inside, wide all-glass roof, 15-inch touchscreen, power lift gate, and optional autopilot are just a few of the features of this car. Mercedes-Benz EQS The Mercedes-Benz EQS will be the first vehicle to be built on the MEA electric platform. The EQS is an electric full-size luxury car designed to be on par with the S-Class. It will be the first EQ vehicle built on the specialized MEA modular electric architecture platform. It is scheduled for production soon, sometime in 2021. The all-new Mercedes-Benz EQS sedan for 2021 is a quieter, roomier, and faster S-Class with holographic lighting and a continuously lighted strip up front. The Mercedes Vision concept vehicle served as the inspiration for the production spec EQS sedan. According to Mercedes, the EQS's twin motors should propel the electric car from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 4.5 seconds. In comparison, the Model S long range takes 3.7 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour. While its performance versions offer a 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint time of 2.4 seconds, it comes at the cost of a reduced range. The dual motor system on the 2021 EQS will give it a range of about 435 miles on a single charge. This Mercedes-Benz EV will be outfitted with cutting edge technology such as level 3 autonomous driving technology which will allow it to drive itself. Tesla Model S Plaid Tesla's new flagship car has officially begun delivery after a 6 month wait. Unfortunately, the sedan will not come with the Plaid Plus alteration, as previously stated. According to Elon Musk, the decision to discontinue the Plus was motivated by the fact that the standard Plaid is just so good. By good, he believes it's the world's fastest mass manufacturing vehicle with a range of 390 miles. In addition, the latest model is the 0 to 60 with 1 foot rollout and a time of 1.99 seconds, which is a great accomplishment. With a trap speed of 155 miles per hour, a quarter mile takes 9.23 seconds. These crazy figures are made possible by the all-new tri-motor all-wheel drive engine with torque factoring. It generates 1,020 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. The visual modifications are less subtle, with a resculpted hood, reshaped bumper, tweaked headlights, and a redesigned front end with a dual-screen infotainment system and a controversial yoke steering wheel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these videos shown on your screen right now.